We are drawn out. We've got it all drawn. And I feel really happy about it. You know, I filled in where I needed to. Um, what a beautiful bouquet. So I'm going to get my paint and we'll come back. I need to decide whether I'm doing watercolor, gouache, or acrylic. Oh, decisions. So I got all my bits together to start applying the color. I've got my little palette that I'm going to mix color. I have my favorite paintbrush that if you've done watercolor with me before, you know what I'm using. I just love it. Um, it's silver, black velvet, size eight, if you couldn't see that, sorry. And then I have my favorite watercolors, which are Yarka, um, Petersburg watercolors. It's 36 full pan and my jar of water. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start and I'm gonna do all the green for the, um, I'm gonna get my green in first. That sounds really bizarre and I've never done it this way, but I'm gonna do it this way because the color is just white and um, lavender with a little bit of pink and maybe a little bit of yellow. So I think the green, once I get that green laid in, I think it'll help me, give me some direction where I want to intensify the color. So here we go. So getting started, you can see I've put some color in. And what I used is uh, I'm using these watercolor pencils. Um, they're probably some of my favorites. They're my oldest too, of course. Um, but what I did is I found this um, this purple one, and it's just got the right, I don't know if you can see that, kind of color, because if you look at the flowers, see how there's that dark color down there? So, what I am doing is I'm laying in a little bit of color, and once I do that, then I'm going back with a dark green, and I am putting some of that in. And then I go back with water on my brush. And then I just kind of let it smear together. And it has that sort of brown, but it's got that little tint to it that I like um, of the lavender. So that's what I'm doing with some of these. I'm gonna take it up a little bit up higher. So that's how I'm getting started. All right, so here I, you can see I'm using the paintbrush. I went to the watercolors and I'm just applying as many different greens as I can all over. I do a light green, go back with dark green. As you can see, I've been painting lots of green there's so many different green layers and I still have quite a bit still to do. It takes a while, but if you just go through it um, with your different greens, I've got some mixed over here and there. And then of course, you know, there's various green <clears throat> and just keep adding it. I'm probably going to be doing this about five more minutes, at least, maybe longer, before we do the color. All right, so mine's a little bit sparse. Um, whereas here, you see how thick and dark it is in between the leaves, right? So there's a lot more, whereas mine is a little white. So what we're going to do though, is I've decided I'm going to get my color in and I'm going to go back and add in the dark after that and then decide on a background color. So let's get started. I'm going to mix up some lavender, I think, um, is where I'm going to start.
So as you can see, the um, beautiful hollyhocks are, um, they have, you know, just barely a little bit of color on them. There's a lot of shadow. And then the color really and truly is inside, a little bit on the outside. So I'm gonna, um, you know, get a tiny bit of color on here, but um, go back with a color pencil, I think, or maybe watercolor and do the outside. So I'm gonna get my, my shadow on. Let's add the really deep, rich color bloom that was on the basil that we saw. So here, let's see, I'm trying to position this so you guys can see and get up close and personal. I think you can see this. So I mixed a deep purple with um, a really deep red and just gonna sort of apply it. Um, you know, one of the things if you want to make things, you know, I'm not a realistic painter at all by any sense of the imagination, but if you want it to look at least um, impressionistic, I guess, um, it's important to use your colors as best as you can as far as like mixing them and when you're applying them. The more color you can add in, the better it's gonna be. So you can see that I'm leaving lots of white um, to go back and fill in. So let's see, let's go right here. And the closer it is to the top, the more it is filled in. Right, that's a different plant, that's a different plant, that's a different plant. I think I'm gonna add some in free-handed up here and then come back with the uh, black and add it, um, you know, draw it in a little bit because I really do need to fill this in up here. Um, this is a different, let's see some of this right up here. Let's go back over here. Okay, let's get, dab it here and there leaving so I can come back and put more color in. Okay. This, I believe, is the same stuff. It's so funny when you're drawing it, you know exactly what you're looking at, but then when you come back, it's like, oh my goodness, what was this? Um... just right here. All right, this is different, different, different. All right, so we're gonna um, go with that for right now. Let me take you to the plant again, our piece of art, I mean our inspiration, and show you. So we've done, right, we've done um, this bit, now I need to go back, excuse me, little plant, and do the little light lavender with the white. I think you guys can probably see that up close. So that's what we're gonna do next. All right, so I've got the super light, very watery pink to add in. So I'm coming back and putting at the edges. Um, just to get a little bit of that color in there. I'm 
hardly putting any um, color on my brush. It truly is more water than anything. And even with that, it feels like a lot. But it is going to dry. Um, so let's see. Let's go over here. Get that. And then I think for right now. Okay, so now I'm going to do that pink, the really pinky color um, that's on those flowers. So I'm going to load up some white, some red, and I'm going to come in. I think we're going to start about right here. And some of them are darker than others. So I'm going to hit and miss. And this is enough different to add a little bit more of the color. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. Well, um, I'm going to put it on fast so you can just see me apply the um, color for these, all these different ones. The beauty with the pen and ink is the wash can go outside it. Now we're going to add in that yellow white that are the tips of this. I'm going to go around and add all that in. So here we are. Um, I'm not going to fill in the background like I was. I'm going to leave it sparse and white. As you can see, the watercolor is um, hit and miss, which after I got into it, as I often do, I switched my plan. So I'm going to sign this baby and put it up there for sale. I hope you guys had fun today. Uh, if you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you want to connect on social media, hit me up at Kim B. Originals. And whatever you do, please subscribe. I'll see you next week.